that was fucked up, dude. That's that's no, fucked no, up. That's so fucking fucked up. I'm already fucked up, so you know how fucked up is fucked up. I'm fucked up, but these things that we're about to see is way fucked up. Hello and welcome to today's episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked Up. Fucked up. This is a series that runs on the concept of how fucked up fucked up is. We share with you the facts of the fucked up. I'm your host today. Join with me today is Vance Michelle. Say hello. Hey, what up? How y'all doing? On today's episode of How Fucked Up is Fucked Up, we take a look at weapon designs that are just, they're just really, it's fucked up. I mean, weapons already fucked up, but like these ones, whoa, whoa. Well, let's start off with giving a little bit of history. History. Stone tips are one of the earliest forms of weapons found by archaeologists. Okay, stone tips. Stone tips. So this is where weapons began. The oldest stone tipped projectile weapon dates back to 280,000 years ago. It was discovered in Ethiopia. It was known as the javelin. Now this is the, the javelin, right? This is yeah. the, the, like, you know, the Olympics because they got the javelin. I the didn't javelin realize throw. that. So like this is where it came from. This is actually where it came from. They was using this shit to chuck the shit out of motherfucking deers and um, you know, lions back in the day. These Africans was out and stole just like, you know, like ah, ah that's kind of fucked up because you have to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how you gonna be in the jungle like um, yeah. okay. When these weapons were being discovered was kind of considered in the last Stone Age, also known yeah. as Human Era. So it's like pretty much when humans were becoming humans, that's when mm. weapons and tools were becoming you know, necessary for survival. So, you know, protection against bigger animals and, you know, a means to provide food. Then came the Bronze Age, right? Bronze Age, it dates back to the fourth millennium BC. This is the prehistoric Egypt. This is where weapons like the mace were in very high demand. Mace, like the spray, like the spray or the ball wow. and mace? The balls and mace, like, you know, mm -hmm. like if you look down, it's like that thing you picture with an ogre. Swigging like, and shit. Yeah, it's got spikes. Uh, there's a variety of designs for these bad boys. Now, they, they sex toys, matter of fact. That's what you can see that. That's all you. That's where you can buy mates to them. That's mm -hmm. how they evolved. That's so funny. I wonder, I wonder if that's how they were being used in those days. You see them shits was in high demand. It wasn't high demand. I need it wasn't high demand. of these for my new wife. You know, actually people wanted to kill a little faster. I feel like something like came in their consciousness that was like, I don't want to torture somebody so much as I want to just kill them. So that's when firearms became relevant. And around the 1300s, the lance was becoming a really popular weapon, which is almost a gun. It is like a bamboo rod and it has uh, gunpowder within it. So you hold it, you light your mouth and it releases a spike or a bullet kind of type thing. Like the Power Rangers weapon, you know? Yeah. You ever seen the Power Rangers sword? One got a, a an axe cannon and they all put it together and use it together like the power ball and then they oh, shoot it. Yeah. But the Power Rangers was definitely electric. That was, you know, not like and then by the 1400s, the first matchlock gun was created. Mm -hmm. And then that's, you know, leading way for more sophisticated guns. So you have, you know, this beautiful gun in 1540. Triggers are starting to be invented. You know, and guns, they were like a main weapon throughout history, right? Yeah. And then they like evolved and they've never stopped evolving. But since then, a lot of odd weapons have been designed besides guns. Alas, our journey begins as we take a look at some of the most fucked up weapons that I've ever fucking seen. 
Are you ready, Vance? Damn right I am. You just okay. fucked up. Okay, the first one is called The Claw of Archimedes. I like the name it's known as mm -hmm. The Snatcher. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like, you know, someone who's gonna grab you by the pussy. Oh my goodness, the snatcher. Yeah. This was used in the Second Punic War, 214 BC, when the Roman Republic attacked Syracuse. They say the nature was unclear, and the accounts from uh, ancient historians seem to describe it as a sort of crane equipped with a grappling hook that was able yeah. to lift it, an attacking ship, and like turn it over causing the, the, the ship to drop. This looks like the second level of Super Mario Brothers, man. What the hell is it? <laughs> but it was so good, they attributed the heavy Roman losses due to those machines. And some right. of them even were like, they thought they were fighting against the hands of God. They were like, what the fuck is this? Like, then you know what this shit looked like? This shit was some old Dr. Robotnik shit. Like, this is like whoever made this shit was on some evil genius, played so many Dr. Robotnik. No fuck gonna make a big ass hand claw. Let's grab a shit like that. That's that's crazy. That's a hand claw. Like when you get the time and as that feeling, you know, when someone grabs and you're trying to reach them and punch them. Yeah. Because you're too small. That's what right? I think it felt like. You on this boat and then you just see a big ass claw out the water, and you survive this shit. You know what? That's the only way the story survived. Um, is here because the survivor survived. Yeah, mm -hmm. a claw. It came out of nowhere. I God just picked up our boat and tipped it over. Big ass claw just came out the water. You tell me a, a hand came out the water. Come on, I mean, man. What kind of drugs are you on? Yeah. Nobody won't believe you. No one's gonna believe you. I mean, oh lord. Our second one is pretty sick. It's actually known as the six stick or vomit gun. Okay, this so you might actually know from movies. Movies have mm -hmm. had this sick stick in their movie. You no know, Minority Report had it and Kick-Ass 2 had it. Yeah, so they had it in these movies. But what's crazy is that in 2007, the U.S. Navy signed a contract with a company called Invocon to develop a weapon that uses radio frequency to impact a person's sense of hearing and equilibrium. Anyone wow. hit by the vomit gun immediately experiences severe motion sickness and throws up. Ew. 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 <laughs> Remember Kick-Ass 2? The one yes, girl, I do. she has a bully who's this girl, and mm -hmm. then she brings her sick stick to school, and she touches the girl with her sick stick, and the girl is shitting her pants. Mm, there's a pants puking all over her. Just from one touch of that stick. I think I use that stick to rob a bank. To rob a bank. That's so mean. Those poor, those poor innocent tellers. They don't deserve Why to not? shoot their pants. Should their pants throw up? I guess it's better it than killing them. It is what it is. And I'm sure they won't dare to tell on me. Walk us through the events of the bank robbery. I don't want to talk about it too traumatizing crazy mm. is that they actually made it people really yeah. designed something that can actually make you sick from being that, in its presence looking like a speedometer or like a blow dry yeah blow dry you know i like the way they used it in the in the movies it's just like a little stick you're like tap you're sick other one is yeah. like a whole fan like, yeah no, you're right here. all right are you ready for the next fucked up invention yeah Okay, because this one's really fucked up and just trying to still wonder who the fuck and what the fuck they were thinking when they invented this one. It is okay. called the gay bomb. Okay, this wasn't created, but it was designed and probably tested. Actually, it was tested. They have proof that they tested it. The gay yeah. bomb or the halitosis bomb um, wow. It was a it was a non lethal psychochemical weapon that the United States Air Force Research Laboratory speculated about producing. So the theory was that they would discharge female sex pheromones over enemy forces in order to make them sexually attracted to each other. Oh, so they amazing. wanted to to put uh, pheromones 
that would make them fuck each other. Yeah. And we're gonna blow up a bomb and make them so horny that they can't attack us. So meanwhile, they'll be fucking each other. We'll be taking yeah. over their land. We're, so. we're fucking evil. They're fucking evil. They ended up falling through for so many reasons. Yeah. One was that the, the pheromones could not control who you would be sexually attracted to. So mm -hmm. while, yeah, if you put a, a bomb up and then you were like, okay, like be horny first. So like, you know, yeah. you have half the guys wanted to fuck and half the guys just looking for a chick. But well, they ended up not doing it. They were actually okay, ridiculed for their bizarre idea. But it wow. was it was just crazy because actually throughout their research, the study was expanded yeah. to include homosexual women. The results were consistent with previous findings, meaning that homosexual women were not as responsive to male identified odors, while their response to female cues was similar to that of heterosexual males. According to the researchers, this research suggests a possible role for human pheromones is a biological basis of sexual orientation. So what's kind of cool is that sexual orientation is proven through the fact that they couldn't force people to fuck each other because they gave them a drug. Yes, there's no, there's no gape, there's no pill, there's no food that makes you gay. So there's nothing you can eat or trying to, that's what they prove right there. How funny would that be if that was <laughs> why we won the war? It's like this one guy's like, I, I put a drug out there and everyone started fucking each other. And, and that's how we won the war. <laughs> it's like, well, we made yeah. them fuck each other. Yeah, you see this metal, man? I got it because uh, I was there when uh, they made each other fuck. Wow, Dad, so proud of you. Well, then how about got... our final? And okay, I'm, I gotta readjust myself for this one. This one is just like one of those like, mm, like, oh, I hate humans so fucking mm. much. Because this one is called, this weapon is called animal bombs. Well, let me tell you where it all started with animal bombs. Mm. World War II, United States. They first tested animal bombs with bats, which, I mean, they're bats, they're good okay? Mm -hmm. Bats, bats scare the shit out of everyone. What they did is they attached bombs to these bats because apparently bats are known for being able to carry more than their body weight. I didn't know that, but it's true. So these, they would put them and then they would, I guess, force them into these places where enemies would be, but like they're bats. So like, won't they still fly away? And like, it wasn't the smartest idea. Um, but the evil bastard behind this was like a, it's the weirdest thing. He was a dental surgeon. You're doing root canals one day and all of a sudden you're like, I've got it. Bat bombs. Like, guy got two strikes. I don't like on him already. He's fucking with the bats. And right now is not a good time to be talking about bats. Okay. Right now is not a good time. It's not, it's not. And then after that, you, you're going to be a dentist. Anybody watching this podcast, please take care of your teeth. Make sure you brush, floss, use that Listerine every damn day because you do not want to end up in that chair or just because your tooth cracked while eating an apple. Next thing you know, you're 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 strapped to a bomb. For real, We're mm -hmm. dealing with this crazy ass dentist. If you think there's evil villains in the world, the dentist, dentist, secret identity. That's it. <laughs> I, I I expose you, dentist, in dentist surgery. Well, you want to know who took it to the next level? Who did it? British. So they were like, oh, you you guys in the States, you're going to do it with bats? Well, this mm -hmm. is what we're going to do. What they did was they took bombs and they shoved them up the rectum of dead rats. That's what I'm talking about. That what their goal was, was they would put these in like prime locations and they would hope that they would sweep up these dead rats and put them mm. into their coal. The uh -huh. fire would explode their rats mm. and then fuck everything up. But so far, bats and rats, eh, do we really care? A little bit. I don't like that we were involving animals in this. I, I like the fact, though, that we were like, hey, hey, Germans, shove it up your ass with these rats. Perfect. And bombs that we shoved up their ass. Oh, we love Even the bridge. Even to the Soviet oh, no. Union to fuck it up the most. Oh, shit. You know shit. what they did? Yeah. They, they, they drink mad vodka. They, they did anti 
tank dogs. They trained what? dogs to think that oh. there was food underneath tanks and that they'd be oh. rewarded if they went underneath the tank. And what they really did was attach bombs to these poor puppies. And then they'd be like, go get the tank. And then they made yeah. the puppy. They made the right. puppy go. And then the puppy would go. And then he would boom under the tank. Oh. Like, oh, damn. Damn, that's crazy. That's so fucking fucked up. That's fucked up, B. That's, that's we fucked don't up. Have, I'm happy we don't have any real pictures, but we have a drawn photo. That's that's a, a, yeah. photo reminds me of my dog. Man. He looks really fucking sad. He, like, he knows nah. he's going to die, but he also wants to see if there's food under the truck. It, he was trained for that. That was his mission. That was his purpose in life. And you know what? You can't even be too sad about it because it is fucked up. It is fucked up, but you know what? That was his purpose. He felt like that was his purpose in life. So, you know, God bless. God bless those little tank dogs. The Russians is grimy. Founded by the Moscow Oblast. And I wow. and I have it quoted, you know name bastard, because there's no name. So I'm like, oh, you want right. credit for this? That's a great idea. He's like, no, no, don't, don't put my name on that one. It's a conclusion, for me at least, is that killing people sucks. Weapons mm. are, okay, they can be good, but mm -hmm. I feel like they're mostly bad. I, my conclusion is we gotta, we gotta come together as a people to know when to use it and when to not. The one that says it's not the gun that shoots, it's the person behind the gun. That's, I'm, that's me. Amen to that, sister, <laughs> amen. My name is Haley. I was I joined today by is. Vance Michelle. This was I How Fucked Up is Fucked I, Up. Y'all enjoy your life. Stay sane, stay happy, and don't kill people. Stay alive. You got to stay alive. You got to stay alive. <laughs>I fucked up. Check it out. You see that white piece of hair? That's a birthmark. Just getting old, girl. <laughs> my mom said when I was born, that was the only piece of hair I had on my head. And she was like, oh my God, it's a freak.